call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. This Mass is offered for the repose of soul of Anne Green. Let us pray. God our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification, may know to the human race your wondrous mystery. Grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal joy and adore your unity, powerful and majesty. The Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Oh, 
reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice, mend your ways, encourage one another, agree with one another, live in peace, and the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the holy ones greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. The word of the Lord. from the Holy Gospel according to John. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son that everyone who believes in him might not perish, might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son to the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved to him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned. Whoever does not believe has already been condemned because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Eternal Father is love. Eternal Son is mercy. Eternal Holy Spirit is power. Somebody said, on the solemnity of Holy Trinity is a preacher's nightmare. Please don't know what to say. A preacher did not know what to talk about Holy Trinity. It's mysterious. What is doctrine has to become deed. What is in the page as to become payment. Let's see, what is the understanding of Holy Trinity? Remember, go back when you're very young, in your catechism school, in the school, little sister Josephine in up north in New York showed the shamrock, little Irish and said, three clovers, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, and they are one. Don't try to understand as long as you've got the symbol. We cannot remain in that level. We have to come down and see who the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in our own lives. There are three persons, one Godhead. But each one works together. In year 280, Tertullian came with a concept called Trinitas, Trinity, which means the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, they are a triangular, but still they have their own character. Today, church after 2000 years, looking back at the scriptures, we cannot look Trinity as just a doctrine, a triad, a triangle, 
a hierarchy. Trinity is more a circle, a communion, a unity. It's like a family of people having a bonfire. After having the pizza and a drink, you hold the hands together and go around in a circle in a dance. It's a communion. It's a unity. It's a relationship. Therefore, don't have in mind, oh, Father, the figure, the Son, the Holy Spirit. They are in union. They are in communication. They are in relationship. It's like one lady once got up in the morning. She loved her hair so much. Looked at the mirror. Poor lady had only three hairs. She was very positive. She said, I'm not going to give up. Let me make with my three hair a lovely braid. She made it. Next day morning, she got up. These girls have lovely hair. <laughs> then she only saw two hair. She said, let me make the two hair a pigtail. The next day morning, she got up. She only saw one hair and she said, I'm going to be not negative. I'm going to make, I'm going to make a ponytail. And the fourth day, she got up and looked at the mirror. No hair. She said, today I'm happy. I didn't have to do my hair. <laughs> Trinity is not just the three. It is more than the three. It is a principle, a Godhead, the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. They are alive in our lives. Therefore, the passage, God so loved the world that he gave his only son for our salvation. John chapter 3 verse 16. God so loved the son and son did the work of the father, redeemer. The Holy Spirit, the son last week he celebrated the Pentecost. The Holy Spirit lives in us. He is not something object, a person. Therefore, it is not just a doctrine, there is more to the Trinity. Trinity is living with us, activating us, and enabling us to walk in our life. Therefore, when we begin the Mass, at the end of the Mass, all the liturgical services we hear, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. At home, when you say your rosary, when you do any prayers, we say, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. I strongly recommend with little kids in your home, I would recommend teach them how to make the sign of the cross. Today, if you know how to make the sign of the cross meaningfully, in the name of the Father, the, the Creator, the Son, the Redeemer, who is mercy and the Sanctifier, who protects us and gives us power, it means a lot. But today we do signs, just for the sake of doing signs, the signs doesn't mean anything for us. Once, a bishop of Russian Orthodox was going near an island and he saw three hermits in living in a hermitage. You want to know how the hermits are doing? So he went and spoke to the hermits and said, Hermits, how you guys are doing? How's your life? And how's your prayer life? And they said, Dear Bishop, we try to pray. We try to pray on our own way. And he said, Do you guys say the Our Father? Do you guys recite the Creed? He said, No, Bishop. Here today, I teach you how to pray the Our Father. Recite the Our Father. He spent a day with them, told them how to pray the Our Father. So after six months, he was passing by the island the three hermits saw the bishop in a small boat passing by. They couldn't stop talking to the bishop. The three hermits, they walked on the water and standing in the water spoke to the bishop, 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 forgive us, pardon us. The prayer you taught us how to say the Our Father, we forgot, Bishop. Could you help us to say the Our Father? When Bishop saw them standing in the water, he said, Dear brothers, I don't know how you pray, 
But just go home and pray the way you pray. You are more in faith. And he was just so happy to see those monks standing in the water. And the monk said, Bishop, this is what we pray. We three, you three, God have mercy. We three, you three, God have mercy. Bishop said, Dear hermits, go back to the monastery and pray the way you pray. Trinity is all about unity. Trinity is all about communication. Trinity is all about relationship. Today, this doctrinal feast remains a doctrine doesn't help you and me if it comes down in our lives in form of the way we love one another, in the form we communicate to one another, in the form we relate to one another, then this solemnity becomes meaningful. Therefore, we hear in Matthew chapter 28, 20, Go to the whole world, baptize them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And I will be with you until the end of time. So I profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. To him all things were made, for us men and for salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who is spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We confidently present the petitions before our faithful God who hears our concerns. For all occasions to all ministries of the church, priesthood, religious life, lay, and the act of ministry, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all occasions to the ministries of public life, civil leadership, education, health, and community service, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For locations to the ministries of liturgical life and prayer through the conversion of hearts and minds to God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For locations to the ministries of public life and prayer through the conversion of hearts and minds to God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our service men and women serving all parts of the world, first responders, police, and fire fighters, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our service men and women serving all parts of the world, first responders, police, and fire fighters, that they may enjoy God's protection, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For locations to the ministries of community building and confronting the world with love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, hospitalized, homebound of our community, and for all those written in our parish detention books, that their hearts be filled with peace and hope, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died in the hope of the resurrection, especially Anne Marie, as well as Sarah Spellinelli, 
Alexander, Petrakopoulos, and Bishop Victor Galeon. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silent prayer, let us offer God the needs of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Holy God, you met your people with love. Hear the prayers we have for the church and the world. We ask us to Christ our Lord. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Sanctify by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God. This oblation of the service by it make us of an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty of salvation. All this and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, from the confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, 
You, my dear Devan, what is proper to each person, the unity in substance, under equality in majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim and seraphim, who never to cry out each day, and we sing your praise. Amen. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy. Therefore, the gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered William's passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The most we your friend. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to the held us worthy in your presence, minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and bread of Christ and be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Frank, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant Anne Green, whom you have called from the world to yourself. Grant that you united in son and death like his, may also be one with the resurrection. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who died in your mercy. Welcome them, light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, the Spouse, Blessed Apostles, St. Francis, St. Claire, St. Anthony, St. Peter and Paul, John of the Cross, and the rest, and all the saints who have you throughout the ages, merit to be co has eternal life. And may praise you and glorify you through Christ, your Son, Jesus Christ. True him and worth him and in him. O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. May the Holy Trinity bring in our lives the unity, love, communication, and relationship. And say this command from a divine teaching. We dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, deliver us from evil. 
Tell us, Lord, we pray from every evil, gracious you grant us in the days of the help of the mercy, we may be always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as with the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the kingdom. <laughs> Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior, Pastor, peace, our living, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, the faith of your church, and gracious you grant peace and unity comes with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let's offer each other. The sign of peace. Mm-hmm.